Welcome back to Sand Dog Kayak Adventure, everybody. You. Today we are going for halibut. We're, uh, I just left Kellogg's Beach, going to get live bait. Um, Sean, one of the guys who guides for me, he's coming out just for fun today. He's got um, uh, our guest, Juan, and they're going to Spanish Landing. And I have a buddy from the Mad Anglers, Khan, who's supposed to show up. So today I think we're gonna be fishing with Juan, Sean, and Khan. Yo! <laughs> but that's what we're doing, man. Halibut fishing, San Diego Bay. My boy Sean, my boy Juan, my boy Khan. Khan's not here yet, so we'll see what happens. But uh, wish us luck. Here we go. Phew! It's a little brisk this <laughs> Yeah, it's a little chilly. Yeah, it's dude. supposed to be 70 later, though. I know, so I was like, it's like, yesterday was nice, beautiful day, and then I threw on some shorts this morning. I got outside, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, Roxanne was like, do you want to put on some extra stuff? I'm like, no, it's going to heat up quick. I'll just suffer for an hour or two, yeah, and then it'll like, pop right up. Here we are at the bait barge in Point Loma. If you don't know how to get to the bait barge in Point Loma, uh, about four or five videos back, I put up a video how to get, a, get to the bait barge in Point Loma. So be sure and check that out if you don't know where I'm at or how I got here. Sorry, fellas. No extras. No extras today. Hey, what's up, fish breath? Here's a little pro tip for you guys. Right now, something's going on with the pump in my bait tank. I don't know exactly what it is. I think uh, something electrical got smoked. I think I just need to get a new pump, no big deal. What I do is, just in case this sort of thing happens, I keep a piece of sponge with me, just a tiny little piece of sponge. Uh, it's actually a piece of pool noodle. And what I do is, instead of when the bait pump stopped working, instead of sucking up water from the bottom and pushing it in, well, now it acts as a drain. Now the water goes right out of that pump and then down to the bottom. Just to keep the water from draining out real quick, get a little piece of sponge, plug it in the hole, and now you can fill up the bait tank yourself. What I'm doing, all I had is a little cooler that I have for uh, Cokes. I just put the Cokes in the, in the boat. Now I'm using this to just fill it up and the fish are gonna be fine. So believe it or not, this little piece of sponge can save your day sometimes. So it's always good to keep a little piece of sponge with you on your yak if you have a live bait, or if you have a live one. Just so you guys know, the dock line, just the, the dock line anywhere is almost always a great place to fish. Um, typically, you get a lot of mussels, barnacles, that sort of thing that uh, end up on the pylons. So you'll get a lot of little fish that want to come and eat those little things, nibble on those little things, that sort of thing. And then sometimes that brings around big fish that want to eat those little fish. So it's always a good idea to go up and down the dock line. Um, anywhere I go, I'll go on this dock line. I'll go down any one of those dock lines. The dock line and structure, the, the main thing you're looking for, if you're fishing for halibut, you're looking for sand next to some sort of structure, whether it be eelgrass, whether it be pylons on the dock, that sort of thing. Um, but that's, that's what you're, you know, when you're searching the bay and looking for good halibut spots, that's what you want to find. Sand dog kayak tip 101. You.
So it's like January 28th or something. I think it's the 28th. It's like 72 degrees. It's hot, dude. We, me and Sean both got our shirts off. We're like, dude, all right. You're insisting that we get a tan in January? Wait, well, you know, who are we to argue? So it's like, dude, it, it's like a summer day here right now. It is freaking awesome. Oh, I love this place. I love this place. I love fishing here. It's just awesome. So we're trying for, we're doing one more shot here for halibut, trying to get another little run. We've got about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to uh, fish right here and uh, hopefully whack a halibut or two. Just want to say thank you guys for all your support. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of stuff to like support the channel and um, I just want to let you guys know we really appreciate it, man. I was reeling it in to bring, to check the bait. And a little Mr. Hallie guy <laughs> <laughs> came back for it. Two, yeah, just a few more, a couple more minutes. Be good. Let's throw them at Sean. So check this out. That's pretty slick. Awesome. No sand at home. Yeah, no sand. No sand at home is right, dude. That's awesome. That's a good one. Yeah, that should have cleaned up, man. All the stuff. Dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. What that thing is? Sunjo? Sunjo. I forget what it's called. I'll find out what it's called when I get home. And I'll show you exactly dude. What it is. You guys want one of these things? We'll put the link in the description. It's a Sunjo water sprayer. sprayer, electric water sprayer. I'll find out the exactly what it's called. But he was telling me about this out on the water. This thing is sick. Let's see if you got. It's badass, dude. And you have, you just have like a a little five gallon container or whatever. Yeah, I think it's like seven. Seven and... Oh, there's still plenty left in there. Dude, that's awesome. 